Now, God himself said something very remarkable in verse 6. He said, And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Hallelujah. God is not here praising the power of the human soul. That God is stating the obvious. And so, you see, the question is, were they doing the will of God? The answer is no. God's instructions were very clear. Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. Fill the earth. But when they saw a flat land or a plateau, and they said, no, we are not going to easy, obey God. Why do we need to scatter all over the world? We are going to stay here. Let us build a tower. Let us build is it a gigantic building, a tower that will reach up to heaven. That we can even go to meet God in heaven. And God said about this man that were using the power of their will, of their soul and said and this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. So this that they began to do was against the will of God. It was a great project. You know what it is at that time? No cranes, no caterpillars, <laughs> nothing like that. And yet, this man began to build a tower that will reach up to the skies. And God himself said, even with the limited technology he had at that time, God said that no man can restrain them as long as they have set their hearts to do it. Why? Because God created man with a powerful soul. And God was saying, if these people continue to conjure the power of their souls, there is nothing that can stop them. So let me say it again. The Christian life is not a life of just doing good things. The Christian life is a life of doing the will of God. Because that good project you may be embarking upon, that massive easy project you may be embarking upon, may not be the will of God at all. And if it's not the will of God, you are going to have to rely on your soul. The power of self-determination. If I can see it, I can accomplish it. If I can see it, and my heart can conceive it, I can make it happen. We hear all these things even on the pulpit. But that is not God's plan. God's plan is for you to see what God is saying. Our Lord Jesus said, the teachings that I teach, they are not my teachings. They are the teachings of him that sent me. He said, I do not judge by the hearing of the ears or by the seeing of the eyes. It is what I hear him say. That is what I say. What I see him do, that is what I do. That is how God created you to function. 
to function in line with his will, to see what he is seeing and do what you see him doing. You are not to do your own things. You are to do the things that are in line with God's will for your life. That as our Lord Jesus, you will no longer judge by the hearing of the ears. Neither will you judge by the seeing of the eyes, the sight of the eyes. Rather, you will judge by what He, Yahweh, showing you. Hallelujah. And our Lord Jesus also says that the works that do is not me that do it, but the Father that does it. it. Is the, the works I do is not me, is the Father that does it. it. It's not a words, it is what God is doing that I'm doing. I'm in the same page with God in my life. Glory to Jesus. I said glory to Jesus. Amen.